Good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of Beer Rating with Sean Connors. As you can see, I got a red ale tonight, specifically a salted caramel red ale. And this is another one from my bed beer box, my beer club. Uh, this is the last one, so I got a new box hopefully coming this week. And uh, this is from Kensington Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario. 4.8% alcohol. It says, look out of place. A pretty amazing beer for a pretty amazing person. That's right. I'm going to shower you with compliments for reading the can copy. Have I mentioned how stunning you look today or, or how hilarious you are? You, you just seem like someone who would like someone who would be great to chat with over a nice cold beer. It's not special. All right, in the newsletter, it says a bread and biscuit, biscuity red ale with notes of caramel and toffee in the background. The beer is finished with a touch of sea salt, which, which rounds out the malty body, which, while complementing the late sweet caramel tones. Despite all this caramel talk, the beer is not over, overly sweet, but rather balanced between easy drinking and novel. Uh, red ales, it's one of those beers, I wouldn't say it's my favorite beer, but I normally do enjoy them. Uh, with that being said, caramel and toffee, something I really enjoy. A little bit of salt. I like a good goza, which is a salted sour, so we'll see how this one goes. I'll give my glass a quick cold water rinse, just to chill down the, the glass a bit. So obviously it's going to have a red tinge to it. It is a red ale after all. Sunday night, haven't had a beer all weekend, so kind of looking forward to this one. Didn't quite pour that properly. I uh, straightened the glass a little bit too soon. That's why I'm getting a substantial head. All right, so as expected, it does have a reddish tinge to it. Just let that settle for a second. As I said, this one is uh, out of Toronto, Ontario, Kensington, the Kensington Brewing Company. If anybody my age, early 50s, you probably think of the King of Kensington. I'm pretty sure it's the same area of Toronto. Let's see if I'm getting any aromas. Uh, nothing there that really jumps at me out of the ordinary other than your typical ale aroma. I was hoping to get maybe a hint of the coffee or caramel. I'm not getting that. Um, I am getting a hint of something there a second, for a second. Not sure what it is, but it's kind of nice. But it all comes down to how does it taste? Hmm. One mouthful, and for whatever reason, it takes me back to sitting in a pub in Dublin. Why, I don't know. I really don't remember having a lot of red ales there. Um, I know I. I've always had Guinness there. Um, just trying to think of the uh, typical drafts I've had in Ireland. Kilkenny, which I believe is a cream ale, so maybe that's kind of what it's reminding me of. Hmm. Interesting. I have to take another few tastes before I uh, decide what I think of it. Big problem is now I got so much foam I got to get past that to get a real taste of it. Um, definitely getting the toffee caramel there. Not so much the salt. Geez, it reminds me of something, and for whatever reason, every sip I picture myself sitting in Dublin. A little pub there, uh, I think it was called a confession booth. Really, really small. One of the great writers of, I think, the 19th or 20th century, he used to go there. Joyce, I believe. I could be wrong. It's right downtown Dublin. One of the, uh, not the main road, I can't remember the name of it, just off from there. Been there several times. There are a couple times by myself. Uh, me and my brother stopped there my last trip to Ireland. Alright, so it's quite enjoyable. I am getting the toffee and caramel, but like they said, it's nicely balanced. What was it they said? Finishes dry with a touch of vanilla round. Oh no, sorry, round one. Uh, not overly sweet, but, we'll, but rather, rather balanced between easy drinking and novel. And I'm actually getting that. I'm quite impressed with this one for a red ale. 
like I said, I generally do enjoy red ales, but it's not something I generally, you know, oh my god, I can't wait to have another. But I do enjoy them. But I wouldn't say they're my favorite style of beer. But this one is actually quite enjoyable. It's definitely easy drinking, as you can tell from the big mouthfuls I'm taking. And offhand on the scale, my scale, out of five, I'm thinking of 4.0 offhand. I'm not going to commit to that quite yet. But mine's always out of uh, five. Out of one's a drain pour, I'm literally going to pour it down the drain. It's that bad. A two is like not a fan, but I don't want to waste it, so I'll finish it. A three is a good beer. A four is a very good beer. And a five would be the best beer ever. And I'm pretty sure this one's a four for me. A very good beer. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with my 4.0. There's lots of flavor there. However, it's still easy drinking. It's smooth. goes down pretty easy. But once again, it's got some nice flavors to it. So you go, folks, for Kensington Amazing Beer. Their Salted Caramel Radio 4.0. As I said, hopefully the uh, Beer Club, my next shipment, will come in this week, and we'll see what that's going to bring us. Until then, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.